housing finance was part of what uh, led to the, the run-up, the build-up of what we now know were artificially inflated home prices and home values. Um, there was uh, what I like to, to call kind of a, a, a black hole effect coming from the financial markets, from the bond markets. There was this endless appetite for mortgages to be packaged up. And that created this demand coming from, from the, the very high capital markets finance level, not from the level of actual value in actual homes where people are living in, but a demand for just the mortgages to be packaged and sold. The problem was that encouraged us to put a lot of debt on, how, on housing, on homes. And the more we put on, the more home values went up. Because if you can borrow more, you can spend more to buy the house. And that was part of, not the only thing, but it was part of what led to that great run-up in home prices that once the bubble burst was a drop in home prices. When you get a sudden drop in asset values like that, that's part of what can really dampen economic activity and, and change people's perceptions about what the future is going to look like, where they should put their money, what they should be doing. So housing finance was part of it. We lost some discipline. Right? People stopped lending against homes in a way that was um, tied to both the home's value on the market as well as the ability of someone to pay the mortgage. And they focus just on the value side of it. And when you start making loans just on that value and you assume that values will always go up, you just keep lending more and more.